Aries, welcome to your singles reading for October. This is for Aries singles, new love, who's coming towards me. This is a new series I'm adding to the channel. So I hope you enjoy this. Do let me know how you like this. Give me some feedback. Give me some likes, shares, subscribes, comments. I love to read the comments. I've also introduced another series to the channel, which is called Messages from Your Spirit Guides, what spirit needs to tell you at this time. So look out for that also. I'll still be doing the Love Connection readings and I'll still be doing the general readings, but I'll be doing them only once a month each and these two new added uh, readings. So do let me know how you like this and I hope you enjoy this. So welcome for welcome uh, in and thank you so much for watching. And um, if you're new, welcome, returning, thank you. Please check the description box below for any and all information that you need about me. Plenty of stuff there to check out. Please do go check that out. And thank you so much for all your support to the channel. Thank you, thank you, new subscribers, those who have reached out for personal readings, those who have tipped or donated, all your energy, your support, co contribution to the channel, supporting it, um, being a part of its growth, really does mean a lot to me. So thank you, thank you, and I love doing this for you guys. So thank you so much. Okay, Aries, let's see who is coming towards you. We're gonna look at a few signs, We'll look at their energy. We'll look at what time of year maybe you may meet this person, um, where, how, what the connection will be like, advice for you, clarify with tarot. So there's a lot of decks here, but it's going to go relatively smoothly. So, all right. So let's see. Let's get a couple signs first, see what we get here. Hope everybody's doing well. Happy fall. Happy Halloween. All right. Aries, Aries, Aries. What's coming in for Aries spirit, please? New love. Who's coming towards Aries? Aries singles. Singles for Aries. All right, let's get a couple signs for Aries. A couple signs for Aries, please. Who's coming towards Aries? Oh, we have Mercury in the sun and Mercury's Gemini in the sun is Leo. Air and fire. So... You could have an air sign with Gemini or a fellow fire sign, Leo. Hmm. All right. So a couple, couple options there. I like to give two. So you may even meet one person has both of those signs in their chart or either or. All right. So let's look into what their energy may be like. What kind of person are we talking about now? What kind of energy do they have? What is their energy like with this person that you may meet? Or Aries. What is this energy like of this person coming into Aries? And we have focus. Okay, so I think this is somebody, you see the heart there, and like this very light, bright energy. I feel like this is someone who's going to be very focused and driven, not only um, about them and their life, and they may have a focus on really striving for the best in their life and setting, you know, focused on their goals, their drives, their ambitions. But I also feel like this will be somebody who will be very focused on your wants and needs also. Somebody who's very focused in all areas, aspects of their life and those around them. Wow. Wow. And they may be somebody who likes to meditate. Um, they could be spiritual also. Hmm, okay. So let's look at when you could possibly meet this person. When, like time frame. All right, when, the cards will shuffle. When could they must possibly meet this person for Aries singles? Spirit, please, when could they possibly meet this person? One card for Aries. When they could possibly meet this person, please. Thank you so much. Just one card for Aries. Conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse. So that doesn't really give me a time frame, but it may be around full moon times, which is um, towards the end of Sometimes the middle or towards the end of the month. So you may meet this person during uh, a full moon period, um, end, like third or fourth week of the month. Let's see if we can get like a um, time frame, like a season, 
a certain season. Okay, Cancer. New moon in Cancer. So maybe Cancer season, which is the end of June into July, which would probably be next year <laughs> for some of you. So I definitely feel like here, probably during, and now this says new moon in Cancer, and this is full moon eclipse. So definitely here during sometime between the new moon in Cancer and the full moon, I feel uh, Cancer during that time period. All right, I'm not taking the sign of Cancer as a possible sign you can meet. I'm just using that time frame of Cancer season, which is like I said, the end of July into June, and probably somewhere between the new moon and full moon and Cancer. All right, so. Let's see where, where may you meet this person? Where, 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 for Aries singles, new love, who's coming towards them? Where may they meet this person, Spirit, please? Thank you so much. One card for where they may meet this, thank you. So we have passion. Trust and follow your new passion in your love life and career. And I think I got this too for another sign. You may meet this person at work in your career or somewhere. And it could be at work. It could be traveling to work. It be, could be coming home from work. Uh, something associated uh, with your career. So either at work, like I said, to work, coming from work. Maybe somewhere you frequent every day. Um before you go to work or after you go to work. Maybe you stop for coffee coffee at the same shop every morning. Maybe you stop somewhere the same day after work almost every day. So somewhere, uh, something associated around your career routine, you may meet this person. Hmm. So pay attention to that. Something you do, activity, something you do during your work routine every day that you work. Or possibly it could be someone coming into your work environment, not necessarily like someone coming to work there, maybe someone coming to visit, someone coming to fix something, or somehow somebody coming into your work environment and uh, you meet them. So it could be a customer, it could be, um, like I said, someone coming in to repair something or something like that. So I think you're gonna have to pay attention to that. And maybe when you least expect it. All right, so how, how will you come upon meeting them? So we see here something around your uh, routine, your work routine, your career routine, some way, shape, or form during the cancer season. And I think this is someone who's going to be very focused, someone who pays attention to detail, um, who's very focused on their life, their drives, their ambitions, and goals. I think it would be somebody very focused on your wants, needs, and that sort of thing also. All right, so let's get how. How, how, oh, that's quick. How, let's see, strength. Hmm, and that's Leo energy. So double confirmation of Leo energy here. And you see this very strong, like, tree. Um, it's very thick trunk. An eight here. 35 is eight. It's about travel, action, that sort of energy. Maybe somebody very, like, strong and muscular that comes in <laughs> to fix something. That's what I'm getting. Like, somebody very, like, mus muscly, like a muscle man, may come in and fix um, something, equipment, or something like that it could be an electrician or technician of some kind and i'm getting like a very muscly strong athletic type of person especially with this card over here too and you look at that, wow <laughs> you just look at them like oh man who is this person <laughs> oh boy okay aries could be male female however this resonates for you same sex it's all just energy all right, so this connection. So if you connect with this person, what kind of connection 
what kind of connection will this be? What kind of connection could this be for Aries if they connect with this person? What kind of connection will this be for Aries? One card, please. If they connect with this person, spirit, please. Aries, new love. Who's coming towards them? One card. I'll take that one. All right, let's see what we have. We have growth. 15, which is six. Six is a very balanced healing number. So I feel like there'll be a lot of growth, expansion, learning, giving, caring, nurturing, new experiences with this person, like learning and growing and evolving, uh, growth, expansion, uh, abundance with this person, um, traveling the world, um, experiencing new things. You may even, if they're into exercise and um, they're into their own personal growth, they can be very focused on their physical uh, structure too. And maybe they just work out a lot. And you may start getting into that and you may end up, you know, growth getting very much uh, in shape and fit also. Because we do have strength there, so... All right, so let's see. What's your advice for this connection? What is Aries' advice with this connection? What is Aries? I think you'll just learn new things from each other. I see a lot of growth, expan uh, expansion, abundance, prosperity, uh, traveling, just doing, experiencing new things together. All right, so... Wow, it's fast. So we do have healing heart here. You're a powerful healer. Keep up the great work. So I think you'll heal one another. If there's been things you've both been through in the past, I really think here with growth, there'll be a lot of healing growth between the two of you. Wow, it's a nice energy. And then we have empowerment. You're the most powerful. You're more powerful than you realize. It's safe for you to be powerful. So again, I feel like you could get physically powerful maybe you're going to get fit and in shape with this person you know maybe you know that's what the empowerment is wow i don't know i just feel like one more is there anything else for aries with this connection is there any yeah i knew i felt i could feel it i'm like uh, i think there's one more in there all right let's see what we have father healing your personal power increases as you give any father-related issues to heaven. Huh. So I don't know um, if he or you have father healing father issues, but I feel like, especially with healing heart there, that you will help to heal each other. Or if one of you has father issues, one will help the other to heal and overcome that and get their power back with empowerment there. Wow. All right, so let's clarify now with some tarot. Let's clarify now with some tarot. Aries singles, new love, who's coming towards you. All right, so what is this focus about for Aries? What is this focus about for Aries spirit? Please, thank you so much. The magician, right, and I have felt that. This person manifest, uh, can manifest anything. They're very talented. They're very focused, driven, and ambitious. And they're not afraid to manifest whatever they want in their life here. So I did feel that very focused um, energy here. All right. So we got cancer for you as a time frame, which is summer. So let's see. Let's see what we get. Let's see if we get a cup card. If we get a cup, that'll clarify the summertime and the cancer season, uh, end of June into July. So can we clarify that for Aries? Please, one card. Clarifying that for Aries, please. Thank you so much. Well, we got the Ten of Wands, but that's Leo. Well, it's uh, Leo, Sag, Aries, but that just clarifies Leo. So... Again, you could meet a Leo during the Cancer season. All right, so. And I had said maybe someone coming in to fix something and you see like 
this man, well, he's carrying wands, but, like, carrying equipment, like, on their back, like, coming in, and you see, like, these little prongy things there. So it could be, like I said, somebody coming in to fix a tech, something, a technician, like, electrician, or something. All right, so... I got here something around your career is how you may meet this person. So what is that about here? Because it says career on this card. So it's something around your career, environment, schedule, or something. All right, let's see. Three of Wands. So it may be, you know, you're waiting at the traffic light. Um, you see those prongy things again. So that's the fire energy again, Leo Sagittarius. So <laughs> they could be behind you in traffic. And you're like, why is this person following me? <laughs> why is this person following me? Like you're looking and you know, or you're like behind them and you're like, gee, I think I'm following them. Like everywhere I'm going, I'm behind them. And they may see that too. Like what was that car following me for? And it turns out that um, they're going to your work to um, repair something or something like that. All right, so. And you may, like, stop at a traffic light because the three of wands is, like, kind of about waiting. So you may be, like, waiting at the traffic light and even see this person then <laughs> at that time. Like, on your way to work. So what is... Um, strength about, about how you may meet this person how the hell the hierophant so i think this is you know a card of somebody who does things out of moral just and right faith religion spirituality uh, morals value structure going doing things by the book being very committed so this person is a very committed type of person so um I think they're committed to doing the best job they can do, whether they are just to repair something or whatever. They're very focused and committed to um, doing things to the best of their ability. All right, so let's see uh, this, for this connection we got growth. So I did just have the Six of Swords that fell out, which is a good energy, but I didn't take it. So, oh my God, <laughs> strength. And we have strength there. So double clarification of Leo. This is going to be a very strong connection. Very strong connection. A lot of growth, experience, uh, growth, expansion, learning th new things together, learning and growing with each other. Wow. All right. So for your advice, uh, let's see. We have healing hearts. What is that about? We got the Ten of Pentacles, but it did come in reverse. So, <sighs> and the Ten of Pentacles speaks of a total completion, um, usually the marriage card. Um, maybe this person is has a fear of marriage or like total commitment or something like that. Because this is a marriage card. This is to be coming, two people come together, they share everything and have a legacy for their family down the line so this person may have a fear um fear of sharing their resources maybe but whatever their fears are i think they're going to be healed here because we do have healing hearts so what is this empowerment wow now we have the six of pentacles so this stuff did fall on the floor and it did, I did pick it up in reverse. So this is six of pentacles in reverse. So this is feeling imbalanced, feeling like things aren't fair. There isn't any uh, equal give and take. So you may feel, um, you may feel imbalanced, you know, imbalanced um, in your life. And I think this person is really going to build you up and empower you and balance you out. All right, so let's see what the Father of Healing is about. What is the Father of Healing about? Now we have the Eight of Pentacles. So this is working hard, mastering your craft. So, you know, maybe this person, you or them, maybe worked hard at trying to repair things with a father figure here. 
and uh, maybe you know someone's father has passed over already and they tried to work it out and maybe they just couldn't and now it's like you know a, not, a lot of healing needs to take place and either you will help them with that or they will help you with that and really working on it here to uh, heal that those issues that makes sense for anybody um, if you do like this reading, Aries, you like my energy, how I read, please do like, share, comment, subscribe. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do four different readings, like I said, a month. Don't miss out on that. So we have anything else for Aries? So I have mental blockage here. Uh, entrapment, mental blockage, uh, fear. Can't get out of your own head. So there may be a lot of things here. We've got two eights here. So... Yeah, I think either you or them over a father issue, maybe somebody's father's past and trying to work it out and couldn't amend it. And there's a lot of mental entrapment over that, blockages about that. Um, one will heal the other over this uh, issue here. There will be justice. There will be equal give and take. There will be balancing of the scales, truth, clarity, and feeling resolved from within with the justice card here. And you could have the total Ten of Cups with this person. Total happiness, joy, fulfillment, happy ever after. Wishes and dreams, fulfillment, coming true, happiness, joy. Okay, um, Aries, best of luck to you. And um, I hope things work out for you. And I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say, is to always, always shine your light.